Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the multiple choice template to create multiple choice quizzes for your IWB. Download this notebook file here. When you have downloaded the file it looks like this. Three slides. The first one has nothing to do with the multiple choice just click a few times and start typing in your heading and click a few times here to insert some instructions or any other information for your students. The second slide is the actual template slide which we'll get to in a minute and the third slide is just a very simple example ready to go. Okay let's have a look. First question, question one, what is one plus one? If the student clicks on three, they'll get a cross there because it's the wrong answer. If they then click on two, they get a tick because it's the right answer and this next button pops up. Click on next and we're on to question two. What is one plus two? Okay, again, get, get a wrong answer and it brings up a cross and there's no option to go to the next uh, question, but if we get it right, there we go, we get the tick and this next button pops up. Okay, I don't need to go through any more, you sort of, you get the idea there. Okay, sorry, I'll just quickly say that I paused that and finished off the quiz and this is what the students see at the end of the quiz. They get a, you know, a percentage and a rating and a comment on, you know, whether that's, you know, good or bad sort of thing and then they can reset and, you know, have another go or or move on to the next activity. Okay, so how do you actually create this yourself? Well, that's where you go to slide two and you click on the edit button up in the top left hand corner and we've, well I've set up this template so it's got 10 questions but if you want fewer questions just choose from this drop down menu how many you'd like. Okay, I'll just keep it at 10 and it's as simple as typing in your question, double click there and what is one plus one? Okay, now you just type in any old options you want. Okay, and obviously here out of these responses the correct answer is B, so we'll just choose B from this drop down menu, the correct answer is B and that's finished. You're ready to go and type in question two now. So double click and type that in. Okay, and in this case, the answer is obviously C. Okay, and each time you play this quiz, it'll randomly rotate these answers. So it won't be one, two, three, and four in the same positions. They'll be in mixed positions, but obviously the computer will keep a record of what your right answer is. Okay, well, that pretty much takes care of it. It's just a matter of repeating those steps for the, the rest of the questions you have and clicking OK when you're done. And that quiz is made, as simple as that. Um, students can now start. What is one plus one? No, we're wrong. Uh, two, we're right. Okay, and on they go. Um, as with other videos, students can actually edit this. They can click the edit button and change it themselves. If you don't want them to do that, simply type in a password that you remember and click the password box and then the students will not be able to edit it unless they actually know the password. Okay. That's it for this presentation. I hope you've learned something and I hope you get I hope your kids get something out of this too. Thanks.